On the African continent, there is beauty and war. There are millions of stories. But the tale of a 46-year-old South African entrepreneur who has become Africa's largest private defense contractor is one that may surprise you. The multinationals, their turnover is driven by war. Our turnover isn't driven by war. Our turnover is driven by governments participating in peacekeeping missions to prevent war. It's a different business. Ivor Ichakovitz has made a fortune providing the tools of war, which he claims are used only for peace. I'm very pleased to advise that in 20 years of being in this business, we've not been involved in a war yet. For someone involved in the business to suggest that they're in some pure, normal form of trade is at best disingenuous. Andrew Feinstein, author of The Shadow World, Inside the Global Arms Trade, has been investigating the industry for more than a decade. You don't sell weapons to make peace. You use diplomacy to make peace. If you are selling defense equipment into an area, especially an area as conflict-ridden and volatile as Africa, then unfortunately, whether you prepare to admit it or not, you are contributing to the conflict. Ichikovitz's Paramount Group does business in 30 countries, and we tracked the travel path of one of his executives via Twitter as he visited Jordan, India, and Nigeria over the space of a few months. So how does he know what governments do with those fighter jets and armored fighting vehicles? I don't have a crystal ball. I can't see what's going to happen five or 10 years into the future. But we do everything we can to try and make sure that the equipment that we're providing, the capability we're providing, is in support of the maintenance of peace and the creation of, of protection for sovereign rights. Ichakovitz seems to identify with the statue known as Peace Man, which stands in the garden of his Johannesburg estate. He bristles at being called an arms dealer. Arms dealers are typically people who broker deals between major defense companies and questionable governments. Our group has always been involved only with sovereign states. We have no involvement with questionable entities. And unfortunately, this is a label that reflects very badly on our whole industry. Today, we're a major corporation. We employ nearly 600 engineers. We're in the innovation business. And I've said before, and I'll say it again, calling me an arms dealer is like calling the chairman of a major drug company a drug dealer. Adnan Khashoggi was an arms dealer. He never made anything. He never innovated. He never helped create security. Ichikovitz doesn't do business with everyone who comes calling. He says he once walked away from a deal with Libya's then leader, Muammar Gaddafi. One night I sat with him in his tent and listened to the ramblings of a complete madman. And I walked out of the tent and I called my team in South Africa and I said, we are not signing this deal. They all felt that I had gone mad. In fact, people on my team had been working on this deal for, for nearly three years. And I cannot explain to you what, what specific thing it was that made me make that decision. But I knew at that moment that there was no way that we could put this level of sophistication into this man's hands. In short, he says he is no lord of war. There is nothing illegal about what I do. I don't care if it's legal. I've never seen the movie but I was approached when they were making the movie to help them find equipment to feature in the movie. Ichikovitz, who is an avid art collector, wanted to be an actor. Instead, he saw the opportunities for private defense contractors when apartheid collapsed. His sense of drama remains. The worst thing that you can ever do to anybody is sit them in this chair. It's my negotiating tool. She swims around in circles all day, and to everybody's dismay, she never takes her clothes off. The art of the deal and the business of war in the heart of Africa.